am doing my June favorites and I love monthly favorites videos. Even though this is going up a little late, better late than never, um, I love monthly favorites videos. Every time I stumble upon a new YouTuber or just like my favorite YouTubers, the monthly videos are always the first one that I watch. I think it's such a great way to get to know someone really quickly. I think it's such a great way if you're looking to try some new products or looking to do some new things. And it's just a video packed, filled with product and uh, music and movies and I love that. So I wanted to share with you guys everything I'm going to say. Okay. So I wanted to share with you guys everything that I have been loving for the month of June. So let's get started. So this first product is my all time favorite product. I can honestly put this in every monthly favorite video because it is my absolute favorite. But this is the Trish McAvoy, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. And this is what it looks like. It is an under eye brightener. It's meant to conceal your under eyes, brighten it if you have like bags or dark circles. This is honestly a heaven set. It is my holy grail product and I don't know what I would do without it. I'm planning on doing a beauty review video where I just like review more in depth all the beauty products that I've been loving. So I'm not gonna talk too much about this because I can go on and on and on and on. But I have been using this for about a year now. This is honestly my fourth or fifth tube of it. It's one of the products that I cannot live without. I won't do my makeup or go outside if I don't have this product. The minute I start running out, I buy a new one. But I love this because I use it not only as a brightener, but as a concealer as well. I put it on my face in a V style and it just brightens and conceals all the imperfections. And it's really all I need. This is especially perfect for the summer because you just need this and a little bit of powder and you're good to go. So my next product is a hair product and I didn't actually realize how much I loved and needed this product until I went to Miami and I didn't have it with me and I could really tell the difference with my hair. So this is the It's a 10 Miracle Whip Styling Balm. I use the It's a 10 um, like leave-in spray and I love, love, love that. I've been using that for the longest time. And then I got a little sample of this and it has changed my life, let me tell you. I have Asian hair, so I have like naturally straight, not a lot of volume, it doesn't hold product very well, it doesn't hold a curl. I can curl my hair and within five minutes, it's flat. So that's the kind of hair that I have. It's also why I fidget with it a lot, because I'm trying to give it some volume, trying to zhuzh it up a little for y'all. I can totally tell the difference from when I use this and when I don't. So I squeeze a little dollop into my hand and then I run it through my roots and then I run the excess product through my ends. And then when I blow dry my hair, I flip my hair over and blow dry it from the back and then flip my hair back and it gives me so much volume. I think this is absolutely great and the smell is incredible. Incredible. When I put this on my hand, the smell is so good. And then when I actually blow dry it and the heat meets the product, it's wonderful. I honestly feel like I'm in a salon when I do this because it just smells like so professional. It just smells like that like fresh blowout smell. So I have been really loving my um, shaving routine, shall I say. I love these products so much and I really wanted to show them to you guys. And a crazy part of me was like, I'm going to do a video on my shaving routine. And then I realized it's really just these two products. So that would be the dullest video in the world. But I have been loving... Something just flew back at me. But I have been loving these two products. So this is by Locatine. I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but I think this is the Amande shower oil. And this has um, almond, almond oil in it, which I think I really love and I didn't realize. But almond oil, the smell, oh, I have been absolutely loving this. And then I use the One Love Organics Gardenia and Tea Antioxidant Body Serum. It's a little spray. I'm the worst person at shaving my legs. I don't use shaving cream at all. I either just like rub soap on it on my leg or rub conditioner on my leg, which I know is really bad and some of you are probably like cringing. But whenever I used shaving cream, it never worked for me. Like I would still get out of the shower and feel really razor burn. So I just didn't feel the need to kind of constantly buy and invest in shaving cream if it wasn't gonna work. 
So I stopped using this, but I had actually received both of these products last fashion week in like some goodie bag that like PR companies send out. So I received both of these and I tried them. So this is a shower oil and you can see it's very liquidy in here, but once you use it in the shower, it really just lathers up and becomes really creamy. I put this on my legs and then I shave them and it feels so good and it's so easy to shave. And then when I get out of the shower, my legs are not razor barred at all. And the first time I used this, I was like, wait, what's going on? There's no discomfort on my legs, what's going on? And then, um, and then I spray this on it again. It's the Gardenia Tea Antioxidant Body Serum. I love that you can spray it on, and it also gives you the option to lock it, which is great if you're traveling. I spray it up and down my leg, and then I really just like rub it in and lather it in. And let me tell you, this is the dream team. I my, like my life. My life has been changed. Like I would never be the same ever again. But this is really what helps me to have a good shaving ritual and to not have razor burn. I think it just leaves your legs so soft and like so soft. It's not dry at all. I swear by these two products. Love, love, love. If you know me, you know I love no polish. I have like this ridiculous extensive collection. I'm wearing blue on my nails right now, but for the month of June, I was really loving white nail polish. So this one is by Formula X, which is one of my favorite brands because the lasting power on this is incredible. This lasts so long without chipping, and it's just a simple white color, and it's in the shade Dainty, and I really, really like it. It's white, it's simple. Sometimes in the summer, you just want something simple, and I think it makes you look tanner, though. My next favorites are my fashion favorites. I'm going to start off with this hat. So I actually got this when they had a sale in June, actually, I think. When they last had a sale, and this was literally, I think I paid $11 for it, and changed it's changed my life. If you follow my blog, you know that my style is pretty simple, especially in the summer, it's so hot. I don't want to layer anything. I don't want like so many like bells and whistles all over me. I just want something I can throw on and go. So I really just love like simple and basic cotton dresses, linen dresses, something like no strings attached. So I've been loving reaching for this hat because I think it just dresses up my look a little more. I think it just adds something and I just look a little fancier than, you know, if I had just walked out with the dress. So I have been loving this. The next things I have been loving, um, I was so excited. So this is actually I got before I went to Miami and I was actually like on a date night with my boyfriend and my mom called me and she was like, you'll never guess what I stumbled upon. And it is the Adidas Superstar, Superstar? Superstar, Superstar sneakers. Whoa, I have been loving these. If you watch my haul, you know that I have been getting, I have a recent obsession with sneakers. I've just been really into them. It's a little too hot now in my opinion, but once fall rolls around, that sneaker collection is gonna build up. But I have been really, really loving these and I've been seeing them everywhere on everyone and for the life of me, I couldn't find my size. I am originally a six, a five and a half in heels, it just depends. But these were really big that I actually got kid size and these are the size three because my feet are so small and these have sold out everywhere. Like literally every store I went into, they pretty much like laughed in my face if I asked if they had them in stock and then she, stumbled upon these randomly and the guy was like, we just got them in. If you don't get them, they're gonna be sold out by tomorrow. So she was very generous enough to pick these up for me and I have been absolutely loving them. I immediately wore them to Miami and it didn't give me any blisters at all. I've worn them a few times since and seriously, like I haven't had to break these in because they haven't hurt me at all. They're so comfortable, they're so stylish. Like I can already see so many outfits in the fall that I will pair them with, but again, it is burning in New York. So I have not been wearing them as much as I wanted to, but. So this next product has been helping me combat the heat and it's a little embarrassing, but I, it's changed my life. So it is these little shorts that you wear under like skirts and dresses or anything like that. So they're little shorts by Jockey. I don't know if there's a name on it. 
nope, there's not a name on it. So if you're like me and your thighs touch and you get that chub rub for any of you ladies who has a thigh gap, it's basically when it gets really hot and your thighs rub together and it's very uncomfortable and it hurts and you will get a rash from that rub and it's not a good feeling at all, let me tell you. So I have been struggling with that summer after summer and I used to wear Victoria's Secret shorts but they just kept riding up and like I have no shame so I would pull them down in public but it was just not a good look. But I saw these at Macy's the other day and I was like, hmm, that looks like it'll help me out. This has changed my life changed my life. I'm definitely going to get the shorter version because this is sometimes longer for a little bit of the dresses and the skirts that I wear, but I really love this because they don't write up and even if you don't have that chub rub but you like to wear like shorts under your skirts or your dresses just in case they fly up, I really love this. I think it was only $20. So favorites are in the food category. My first one has been Oreo Thins, but I ate them all so I don't have anything to show you, but I have been loving Oreo Thins. But the one thing about me is that I love frozen drinks like smoothies, pina coladas, strawberry daiquiris, anything frozen I love. I've had this product in my kitchen for a while and I hadn't opened it up and one day I had seen all these like recipes on how to make banana ice cream. Literally was just frozen bananas so I really wanted to try it so I opened this up and I have been using it ever since it is my Nutribullet and it's what I use to make like smoothies milkshakes and all that but I've really been loving this and I've been reaching for it all the time one of my favorite smoothie recipes is just like two peaches, some mango, some strawberries, some apple juice but I have been really into it and plus like if you shop at if you love Jamba Juice, you know it's like really expensive and I feel like every time I visit them, the prices go up. I mean, it's like $8 for a smoothie. So I've been loving making like at home smoothies. And then the next one, I am actually a child, but it's the cereal that I have been loving. And it, this is, oh, it's got a new box. I'm so excited. It is Reese's Puff. I have been loving this. I have been really craving cereal lately and I've been looking for like a sweet treat where I don't feel guilty after. I don't know, is anyone else like that where like you eat cereal and you don't feel guilty because it's cereal? But I have been loving this. I have such a weakness for Reese's. So love this cereal. My next two favorites are actually apps. So my first one is the app that I use to plan my Instagram feed. I used to religiously use Visco. It's like it's changed my life. Like I have my favorite editing filter, my favorite things that I do to my photos. I pretty much edit my photos the same way and I'm actually going to do a blog post on that so that'll be up soon and I have been really into planning out my feed. I obsessively plan out my feed and I like do it for the next two days and I just like move things around. I basically just want it to look cohesive and to look nice so I used to love Visco and then they recently updated it and it's I mean it's rocked my world in a bad way. They no longer let you plan out your feed because the layout is different and I have just been feeling very lost without it so I've tried a few different apps out and nothing really compared to Visco but this is the one that I really loved and it is called Snug so Snug I don't know can you see that can you see that it's not gonna focus because I don't I put my phone not on autofocus but I use it to plan out my feed and to just help it make it look cohesive but the one thing that I don't like about this app that I did like about Visco is that I could use Visco even when I didn't have Wi-Fi so I could like plan out my feed. This one and what I found with a lot of apps that let you plan out your feed you need to have internet access so yeah. My next app favorite is called Dope and this has honestly changed my life. And when I first heard of this app, I was kind of uninterested just because I heard it was like a shopping app, but I didn't really know much about it. Um, as a blogger, I use a lot of different like shopping tools. Like I use reward style, I use shop style. So I have a lot of different tools. So I wasn't really interested. And then when I learned more about the app, I was like, this is actually really interesting. So 
What it is, is it's basically an app for you to shop your favorite stores on the go straight from your phone. If you are like me, I do a lot of like searching for inspiration on Instagram, on Twitter, on like social media. I also read a majority of my blogs on my phone because you know, you're on the go. You don't want to sometimes be on your computer. It's just easier to be on your phone. I'm pretty petite. So I, if I go to a store like Ann Taylor example or Anthropology, they don't have petite sizes in stores. So I'm unable to like purchase directly and I have to order it from online. Or if I've like seen a blogger say something is back in, like in stock on Instagram, we've all had that moment where something we've really wanted or we see something on our phones and we're like, I have to have that. And then you have to like go to your computer because it's such a hassle to order through your phone. You have to go to your computer and you have to like look up the link and yada, yada, yada. But this app changes that and I really like it. So they have over 100 stores within the app itself. But when you first sign up, they ask you what your favorite stores are. For me, I love like Revolve, ASOS, Urban Outfitter, Madewell, Free People, Zara, Victoria's Secret. Like so many of my favorite shops are on this. And you can click on what you love and then it will show you like everything that they have and everything that is on the ASOS website is also on this app. So it's not like what you're looking for won't be here. So you can like quickly search it. And the way it works is that you enter your payment information, your shipping information, whatever you enter at once, just like in the iTunes store, you enter it once and then you're done. So if you are like looking for something on Madewell that you see in the store that's out of stock, you can literally scroll through and it's all here. And then you hit buy, you select your size, you hit pay and you're done. It's simple as one, two, three. I'm probably the laziest person out there, but if you were like me, I love shopping online and I love just sitting there and scrolling aimlessly through all this product. Um, but when it comes time to like check it out, I find it such like a tedious task because you have to enter all this information again and again and like God forbid you accidentally need to edit your order or you need to go back and you have to enter it again but this makes shopping so much easier and I love that you can like safely shop through your phone there's literally all of your favorite stores here so there's Topshop there's ASOS there's Zara Nasty Girl. there's everything on this app what I also love about this app is that if you are just kind of like in a style rut you have, are in the mood to shop but don't know there's also a trends um, there's also a trends tab so you can see like right now there's back to basics which is very much me there's summer grunge you can also favorite items that you like which is something that I love doing it's actually a hobby of mine but I love online shopping and just favoriting everything I like and once you favorite favorite an item they will let you know when it's on sale which again if you know me you they also have a recently viewed tab so if you were just searching for something and you didn't favorite it or you lost it and you're still thinking about it you can go back to that since Joe is so great they are offering all of you guys five dollars credit on the app so that's five dollars off your first order and also free shipping on your first order which I with the code Linda Q. So you just download the app, you put in Linda Q, and then you have a $5 credit that you can use towards anything and everything, which I think is absolutely wonderful. So if you want more information and a link for the app, I will leave it down below. So I will like write this whole spiel again so you can check it out there. That is all of my favorites. I hope this video isn't too long, but I'm on my second memory card, so I'm sure it is. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If any of you share my favorites or if you have any of your favorites, I would love to hear about them. Just leave me a comment down below. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!